what is up guys this is karan here welcome back to tech karan youtube channel if you're also one of the guys who are using xiaomi devices but didn't got the mingui 12 update it's right time you should unlock your bootloader and then install custom recovery and then install a mingui 12 base rooms available for your device like in my case i'm using redmi note 8 and i have installed the mmx version 20.8 8.27 the latest beta china beta based miui 12 room for my device and you can install it too on your device if you have a device which is officially supported for miui 12 china beta china stable or whatever else go and install that right now on your device and if in case your device is not supported you can go and check out the gsi and you can download and install on your device now in this video i'm going to share with you that why you should install this build because this is all the mini 12 features how's the performance the performance is one of the great highlights of this build this is the miui 12 based miui mix let me show you first when i go to settings when i go to my device this is a miui mix 12.1 by mmx team with the latest september security patch as you can see the september security patch is there you should try out this build make sure to watch this video till the end and now let's get started okay guys let's get started with the home screen i'm using this build and the home screen is quite good if you want this wallpaper you can download this wallpaper the link for this wallpaper is in the description i have applied this wallpaper and these icons from the theme store when i go to the theme store we have a lot of things to customize like themes wallpapers dynamic wallpapers ringtones fonts and icons the best part of using miui mix room is that you can go to my account go to a theme store and then you can simply import any theme from your storage or wherever else wherever else you have go to theme go to ok click on ok you can import any third party theme you can apply any third party theme and there will be no issues at all this is one of the main highlight behind using this build on a device you should try out this build for sure swiping right you have the google pixel feed as expected and some other things include these kind of icons which you can customize from theme store as i already shown you and the performance and smoothness is quite great and if you talk about the control center this is also quite good it depends upon which device you are using so maybe the control center smoothness will be according to your device if you are using redmi k20 pro and some high level devices you might get some great kind of speed in control center and if you are using redmi note 8 and some low end devices maybe the speed will matter for sure now let's move on to some other things okay guys if you're a redmi note 8 user let me show you one thing if we talk if we talk about the geekbench score this is one of the thing which you always might discuss about this and 307 is the single core score and 1341 is the multi-core score you get in this in this room in this miui 12 build 307 is the average one 307 is now in this build which is quite impressive which has no issues at all but if you talk about the average score in multi-core 1300 and now we got 1341 which is quite impressive and this is one of the great ever multi-core score in Geekbench in Redmi Note 8. Yes, there are some others too like 1401, 1407 I think was one of the highest one which I already made a video on Evolution X and this one is also one of the great 1341 and if you talk about the Magisk safety net status, unfortunately the CTS profile is false. I was expecting safety net pro uh, safety net's CTS profile should be true because it's the official build but unfortunately the CTS is false but yes you can use the magisk 20.3 if you want to pass these kind of things in my case i'm using the latest magisk 20.4 and also the play protect will also not be certified because the cts is false so which means the play protect is not certified at all so guys, this is the build which is based on MIUI 12. Now we have all the main features of MIUI 12 as expected like SIM cards and etc. When you go to the lock screen option, let me show you some things. Here you have the option of glance for me. Glance for MI which was available in MIUI 11 and now in MIUI 12 latest beta, we finally got this option available here. If you want the full review regarding MIUI 12 best features and MIUI 12 other kind of things, you should watch my other videos because this video has no extra features i'm gonna share with you i'm just gonna share with you that you should install a me mix room for your device if it is available other things like the side panel shortcuts etc are available here it displays sound and vibration all other things are kind of a same thing which you can see like display option here you have the reading mode the dark mode and all other things which were expected 
If you talk about the control center and status bar, we have the use new control center, switch control center side and these kind of options available here which were expected also. Battery indicator customization, you can hide the notch if your device has notch and other things are almost same, nothing else is here with the dark mode and other things include the home screen customizations. If you want full review, you can watch my other videos because this video does not have any customization features I am going to share with you. This is not about the full review of MIUI 12, just a short review in which I am sharing sharing with you the MIUI Mix latest update which you can install right now on a device. How you can do that simply download the file let me show you which file you need. I'll provide you the link in the description for that file just go and download that file. This is a MIUI Mix 2.2.0. In my case, I'm using Kingo, which is Redmi Note 8. So you can download according to your device. Then what you have to do is you just have to boot into custom recovery once. Okay guys, in my case, I'm using Orange Fox custom recovery. You can use any other custom recovery also. Simply go to the wipe section, that'll be catch system vendor data. These five partitions you have to wipe. So simply click on swipe to wipe. And after wiping all these partitions, what you have to do is you simply have to install ROM. Google apps are pre-installed. Just click here, swipe to install. Google apps are pre-installed. You don't need to do anything about that. And you can simply format data. If you're using any device, the process is almost same. You just need to format data if it is required. It's not compulsory. It's not for all devices. If you're using Redmi Note 8, yes, red, uh, format data is required and you should format data if you want to. Format data, reboot and everything is fine. If it is not booting and if it is booting, it's perfectly fine. These are the things I just wanted to share with you. So this is all from today's video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Goodbye. Have a nice day.